How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Big Strong Book. I am Reed, and today we're going over Phone Calls by Roberto Bolaño from his short story collection, Last Evenings on Earth. So this is the shortest story in the book thus far. It's only about six pages. Um, what initially, right off the bat, immediately, what is interesting about this story is that the protagonist's name, as with yesterday's story, the protagonist is named B, just the letter B. Um, again, this doesn't, this isn't, this clearly isn't the B from the story from yesterday, from, uh, from a literary adventure, but again, I, I still wonder whether or not this guy is a stand-in for, uh, Roberto Bolaño. Um, so I'll just kind of read the first paragraph and I'll dive into more about the story. So B is in love with X, unhappily, of course. There was a time in his life when B would have done anything for X, as people generally say and think when they are in love. X breaks up with him. She breaks up with him over the phone. At first, of course, B suffers, but eventually he gets over it, as people generally do. Life, as they say in soap operas, goes on. The years pass. So the story concerns B and his ex-girlfriend, aptly named uh, X. Uh, it deals with them drifting apart, but then they get back together, kind of through these phone calls that they have. They, they just reconnect. And eventually they seem to realize that, you know, it's... Um, it's probably too much of a good thing to be back together. And so they separate again. And um, eventually, B, he kind of becomes obsessive. This is a, a somewhat of a similar trait I've seen to uh, Bolaño's other um, protagonists, is that they seem to have some sort of obsessive, driven quality, but it isn't a good kind of driven Um and kind of as they break up, B kind of, and this is only on the second page, B remarks, um, he has a dream, and it says uh, here, just from the second page of the story, um, when he finally falls asleep, he dreams of a snowman walking through the desert. The snowman is following a border and probably headed toward for disaster. But he ignores this with a blend of cunning and determination. He walks at night when freezing starlight sweeps the desert. As if, you know, obviously he's a man, or the snowman is somebody out of his own territory trying to traverse a landscape that is that is inherently treacherous. Not sure if Bolaño means to kind of put in love as representative of the desert that B sees in his dream. It's possible, um, but it, it's fascinating. And I, I, I will I will go into uh, spoilers for the story. It's it's very short. It's only six pages long, barely not even that. Um, so they B becomes obsessive towards X after they kind of break up for the second time, and he begins to call her over the phone repeatedly, again and again. And of course, given that she wants her space from him, she becomes increasingly annoyed increasingly kind of abrasive and cold and distant to him. And then one day she is found murdered. And of course the police show up at B's doorstep. They think that B has killed X. Um, and so he kind of travels, I, I believe, because this takes place in Spain. Yeah, he, uh, he, um, I think travels to, or just says travels to uh, one side of Spain to the other. Um, so he meets up with X's brother, and X's brother believes that the person who killed her was also just kind of repeatedly called her and was another one of her exes. Um, and eventually they confirm that, and B, he doesn't seem, I think, too terrified of kind of going and being in this environment where she has been killed, he seems at peace with it as, like, if knowing that, you know, there there was 
something still unsaid with their relationship, given the fact that he wasn't sure, or nobody at the time was sure how she died. Um, but then, you know, it's it's almost like, not like he, he wants to be discovered as the killer, but he wants to be relevant in her life. And by the police kind of questioning him, he gains relevance within the course of her life, or in this case, the course of her death. Um, and what's interesting is at the end, he goes back to Barcelona where he lives and the brother calls, ex's brother calls and tells him that they, they found the killer and it was another one of her ex-boyfriends. And then just the closing line of it is, um, well, it's good to know, says B, thanks for calling. Then ex's brother hangs up and B is alone similar to the the snowman in the desert that he doesn't pass over he doesn't pass through that relationship kind of the desert might also in addition to what i had said with it being kind of related to love the desert is also that relationship it is a relationship that has stalled so he is that snowman walking through the desert um but he strays too far into the daylight and melts um, and so he is utterly alone and again, kind of a dark, maybe a dark ending to the story, but it, it, it makes sense for what Bolaño built for the previous, you know, five pages. It, it makes sense. Um, so again, this, this story was very fascinating, um, fascinating in that it doesn't, you know, deal with literature. It doesn't deal with writing or writers like his other stories. Um, but it's just a, a, a dark commentary on relationships and, and love and that, you know, sometimes there are, you know, there, love is something that is imperative, but yet sometimes in those relationships, it kind of draw, there are things that cannot be ever mended and you only become more obsessive the more you try to revisit them. So I liked it, you know, it was... It's very, very short, uh, you know, and again, I'm still curious someday soon to discover what, uh, what Bolaño has in store for more of a novel length story. Obviously, I'm going to get through this. I've got a lot in my uh, TBR right now, but uh, yeah, hopefully soon I'll, I'll dive into one of his books. So yeah, this, this was a good short story and hopefully the trend continues with Last Evenings on Earth. So Thanks everyone to, for watching and see you soon.